Hello and welcome to this MLflow introductory video. In this video, we will define what MLflow is, its usefulness and its four components. This introductory video will give you an overview on the subject. MLflow is an open source tool developed by Databricks in 2018 to manage the entire life cycle of a machine learning project. Since machine learning is a relatively recent practice compared to application development in general, there are a few or no standards and consensus regarding the management of a project's life cycle. This has the direct consequences of generating misunderstandings, waste of time and information within the development teams. For example, during the model training phase, data scientists must share the results of their experiments. Without clear guidelines, they might be tempted to just report results without the code or use custom metrics without mentioning it, making it impossible to replicate and compare models. MLflow therefore presents itself as a tool to solve this type of problem by facilitating, among other things, the monitoring, reproducibility, deployment and management of machine learning models. MLflow is made up of four components used during the different phases of the life cycle of a machine learning project. MLflow tracking, MLflow projects, MLflow models and MLflow registry. MLflow tracking is used during the model training phase. This is when data scientists will try a lot of models and parameters to get the best possible performance. MLflow tracking is based on the notion of experiments. During an experiment, we train a model with a set of parameters on a dataset and we evaluate it according to a metric. Each experiment is therefore defined by the chosen parameters, the results and metrics obtained, and the code used artifact. These experiments are easily accessible from an API that integrates a graphical interface. This tool allows you to quickly and easily view the results of all the training sessions carried out. MFL projects is used so that all the data scientists or automated tools can run your code. The key elements here is therefore to facilitate the reproducibility of the machine learning. To do this, MLflow projects introduce the notion of project. This is a naming convention used to encapsulate the code, libraries and data needed to train the model. The advantage of using the MLflow project convention is to be able to reproduce an entire project with a single command line. MLflow Models aims to facilitate the model deployment phase. We will use the third component when we want to use our model on another machine. Either locally, if I want to reproduce the results of one of my colleagues, or on a remote VM, if I want to test the operation of the model in the cloud. MLflow Models is based on the concept of models. Again, this is akin to a naming convention to encapsulate the template to allow it to be deployed in production. Be careful to distinguish the concept of project and model. The first aims to simplify the reproduction of an experience and is used in the training phase, while the second is used with an already trained model during the deployment phase. Finally, MLflow registry is used in parallel with the three components mentioned above to have the governance over the state of the model's life cycle. The objective of MLflow registry is to centralize all information relating to the model in the training phase or in production to facilitate collaboration between team members. The use of MLflow registry is not reserved for data professionals. Managers, product leaders, developers, etc. can also 
access it via a user interface without requiring any particular skills in data science. You now have an overview of what MLflow is. You are ready to start the associated module. I hope you enjoyed this video and I wish you a good continuation of your training.